Hello and good morning. If you are if you are waking up with me, it was early, but I wanted to film this video because I've been planning to film it for a while with these specific products. Uh, so what are we doing today? If you did not know, my name is Lauren. Welcome to the channel. On today's episode, what we are going to be doing is something I call Use It or Lose It, where I pull out a bunch of products that I know I've used before and I have mixed feelings about, or I'm not sure how I feel about them. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. So I have about eight products in here that I'm going to be retrying out and deciding at the end of this video if I want to keep it or if I want to declutter it. And normally with this video, uh, it's a little bit, you never know what's going to happen because there's been a video where I've kept everything and there's been a video where I've gotten rid of over half of what I was trying. So you just really never know. And the reason why I say I've been planning on doing this video for a while is there is a very specific item in this basket that I'm not quite sure how I feel about. Like, I feel like I should like it, but I don't think I do. But maybe I just tried it when I was like cranky or having a bad day because that totally affects my personal impression of makeup sometimes. If I'm having a rough day. Sometimes I'm like, it's the makeup. It's not me. <laughs> it's sometimes it's me. So we have eight products here that we will be trying. Not everything I put on my face is going to be something that I want to try and that I'm unsure about. Some of them are products that I trust so that I can accurately test out other products. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. It's, it's early. It's early. So we're going to just jump into this. I'm going to pull some of these out so you can see what we are testing today. Retesting, retesting. Um, and we're going to start with a primer. So we are starting with the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. And this is what this bad boy looks like. No recollection of this product whatsoever. <laughs> I do not know. You know, I think I've tried it a few times and I didn't love it. But I'm not sure. And you know what? I have been, this is the consistency. We're using our hands, I guess. Um, I, I thought it was just maybe a bit too liquidy, but I'm not 100% sure. So we are putting it on my face. Try it out this morning. And we're actually going to try this one out with a foundation that I love and trust that works with a lot of different primers so that I know it's the primer and not the foundation. Normally I like to test the foundation, but you know, there's not a, there's not a, you know, there are plenty of foundations for me to retest. I have so many, but we're going to let this dry down for a sec. How does it feel so far? It feels like a primer. It feels fine. A little bit sticky, but I feel like that's not unusual for a primer doesn't doesn't look like anything and what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to use the house labs foundation their triclone skin tech foundation i have mine in the color a42 and i love this foundation it is a fabulous foundation and it works on pretty much every primer i've tried it with so i trust this guy we're gonna see if it works well with this primer though so i just ordered these sponges off of beauty bay and they're like marshmallow, what are these by? They're by Coco Cosmetics by Chloe. Um, they're massive. <laughs> they work really well though, I like them. Okay, so you let the primer dry down a little bit to give it a fighting chance. It does feel sticky on the face. I wonder if that's why I didn't like it. And now we are just going in with the house labs. Okay, so are we seeing anything weird? I feel like the foundation is sitting very well on the primer. There's no weird pilling. Oh, did not blend super well. It is early. Yeah, I'm not noticing anything bad. I don't know. Why didn't I like this primer? I mean, it totally could be possible that I use it with a foundation that I just shouldn't have used with it. It definitely could have been a thing. But with the house laps, it looks fine. Ooh, 
skin is having a rough couple of weeks though, let me tell you. Between allergies, just kind of irritating everything, and uh, Cinco de Mayo where I drank everything, it's just, oh, it's been a journey. It has been a journey for my skin. It's tired. So let's relax or drink a lot of water. The next product we're gonna be trying out is the Milk Makeup. What is this called? Sunshine Under Eye Tint and Brighten. It looks like this. This is a little applicator. I have mine in the color, okay, it's white on white. It's white writing on white packaging. <laughs> ah, I hate it <laughs> so much. And I'm not seeing a color on here. This wasn't like a one size fits all thing, was it? Cause that, that's not a thing. Did you guys ever shop at Brandy Melville? It was like, it's that one size fit all store. And I feel like it's, it was super popular back in my day. Um, back when I was younger and uh, one size fits all and it just never made sense. I'm not seeing a color for this. Is this something you can still buy? I feel like this is really old. Um, it's got like a little ball applicator. <laughs> oh, and if I remember correctly, this thing looks gross. Uh, it didn't do, oh God, okay. It didn't do much of anything. Oh God, okay. It smells okay. But we are seeing if it brightens. <laughs> that is so gross. Okay, look at that applicator. Are you supposed to clean it off every time? Because I clearly did not. I'm going with my mini poof here. Because that giant poof is not the business when you're trying to get underneath your eyes. This, I mean, again, we're running into the situation where it could potentially just not be working well with the primer, right? Possibly. But it is. It's bunching up under there. It really is. Okay, that's on. We got it on. We will kind of save it until the end of the video for any final decisions. But I can tell you right now, I don't love that one. My face feels sticky. I don't know what it is. Let's, let's go ahead and set the face. I think that'll help. So I'm using the NARS, what are you, Soft Matte Advanced Protecting Perfecting Powder in the color Cliff. This is actually a relatively new product. Um, and this is not one we're testing. I just love this one. So we are using a product we love to kind of test the other products that we're not sure if we love. Or like or want to keep oh, a powder in my nose okay so that is where we are leaving the face for right now we have more products but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the eyes because that is the item that I really want to test because I go back and forth on this guy and this is the Club Nebula palette by Kaleidos. This was done in collaboration with Angelica Neekvist and people love this palette. This is what it looks like. And um, you know, I've used it a handful of times. I won't say that I've used it a ton of times because every time I go to pull it out, I just, I don't know what to do with it. I don't feel super inspired by it. God, Sounds kind of mean. Um, I, I just don't know. And I don't know if it's just like it's having off days or, or whatever, totally be it. Um, but people love this palette. This palette has like a huge cult following. I feel like I have never heard anyone say a single bad word about this palette. So I'm like, okay, could totally be me, right? Could totally be me. So let's try it out. We're gonna be using the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. Kaleidos with Kaleidos, that just makes sense to me. And you know what I did? I went on Instagram and I looked at some looks. And I, I was just like, I need to get some inspiration. So we're gonna see what's out there. And uh, oops, it's just got everywhere. There's some good looks out there. So I'm beginning to think it's me, but we're gonna test it and find out. Okay, the looks that I saw that I really liked were very, they were kind of 
more one colorish, you know, like they either leaned into the blues or they leaned into those reds and oranges. And I saw some of those that I really liked. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a blue look because I saw one that I really liked. So we're gonna start with this color, seven of nine. And I'm gonna start by putting that all over the majority of my lid. And I just, I just don't know why this palette has not spoken to me. Again, could be me, could totally be me. This blue's actually going on really nice. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think there was like an issue with patchiness. I think I just could not think of what to do with this palette. That was it. And it threw me for a loop. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Queen of Blades, which I think is what they did. No, no, no. I think it's void, this dark blue here. And I'm going to put that on just the outer corners of my eye. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Samus, Samus, this orange color up here, and kind of put it on my upper lid on top of everything, um, just kind of to blend everything together. I think I'm gonna go into Astro color here. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna just like use the finger. And then let's go into Gravity, this pretty lime green. And I'm gonna put that underneath my waterline, I think. Now let me go ahead and put on some eyeliner. We're not testing a new liquid liner, so I'm gonna use one that I love and trust. It's probably my Koki eyeliner, and uh, I think that'll help decide how I feel about this look. You know, I still don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. That actually was a look that I was able to do really, really fast, which goes to show that the eyeshadow works really well. Like, there was no patchiness. It blended really well. All the colors worked really well. I'm gonna think about it. Again, we're gonna come back to everything at the end of the video and decide. I just need to think about it. I don't know. I don't know why this palette confuses me so much, but it does. But let's go into a mascara. I think that will help. So we have this one from Guerlain. This is the Sil... I'm just gonna put it on here. It's in the color Noir, so black. And I know I've used it and I feel like I was really confused. This is what the brush looks like. And um, I don't know. I, if you've been here before, you know I love my MAC stack. It does such a great job lengthening, lifting, 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 oh, it is early, and separating and just giving you volume and dimension. Like, oh, it's awesome. And I feel like this one doesn't do that, but I don't remember. I don't remember. And because I don't remember, I don't reach for it. We were putting it on. I like that mascara way more than I remember liking it. I think it did a really good job separating the lashes, giving them some color, giving them some dimension. Um, yeah, I'm actually really surprised by that. It's no Mac stack, okay? But it's pretty good. Hmm, okay, okay. Moving on. Do we need to do anything else with the eyes? I think this is what we're doing with the eyes today. I don't think I'm gonna do bottom liner. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I do have work later today, so actually not, not too later. It's pretty soon. So we're going to wrap up this look. Let's see, what do I have next? So I have something that's a blush and a bronzer in one. I already hate that, okay? <laughs> this is by Terry. This is the Terribly, Terribly Densilis Contouring in the color 100 Fresh Contrast. Why was that a mouthful? Why could I not say that? Okay, hang on, coffee. 
Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It is heavy. This guy is metal. By Terry is a, there's a cat hair. Oh, nope, that was my hair. Okay, sorry, kitties. Um, By Terry is a super luxurious brand. And I know I picked this little guy up on sale. So if you go inside, it comes with a little brush that you know we're not going to use. And this is what it looks like. So maybe that's like not even a blush. That is so is so light is it like a brightening powder this is for contouring oh i don't know what that is i don't think it's too light to be a blush but we do have that bronzer in there you're probably asking yourself how are you gonna how are you gonna get that bronzer it's so small in there um well we have this great brush from elf this is a contouring brush it is covered in hair doesn't surprise me so it's super thin it's for contouring but we are gonna use it as a bronzer. So I am getting it all over this brush and I'm going to, I think, stamp it on. Oh, this is working out well. Okay, this, this may be just not my color. It looks like it's a little bit orange. Okay, I have another brush. There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> It looks orange, doesn't it? Is it just me? Oh, okay, it looks a bit orange. So it looks like it's not laying on there super well. Let's try the other cheek. We're going to, I guess we'll kind of do the same thing. We're gonna go in with the contour brush, stamp it in. And then we're gonna buff it out. Okay, I'm gonna just try to go in with this brush. I guess it kind of works. Let's do some color on my forehead. It's kind of my go-to. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fix this side a little bit. It's uh, confusing. Contour brush was not the business in this case. Okay, yeah, that, that's a little bit better. Okay, we have bronzer on. It's on, we're thinking about it. I don't know what that other side is for. I feel like I should have done some research on this item before talking about it. I think it might be a brightening powder. I'm just watching the heck out of it. It's like a light pink. I don't know. It's for contouring, so I guess it would make sense to use it in around your contour to make it stand out more. It's like a lightning powder. Let's kind of kind of go in. Okay, I've this is not a mirror that you can use. Okay, that is very tiny. Hmm. Maybe it's brightening. Maybe, maybe, we don't know. It's pretty much the same color as my skin, so, you know. I definitely thought that that was a blush. I, it's not, it's not, at least not on me. So we don't have a blush today, which is okay. But we do have a highlighter. This is another, I feel like, pretty infamous product. This is the ABH Iced Out Highlighter. And it's infamous because it's got like a green cast to it and people did not like it. This is like opposite of the Club Nebula palette. People did not like this. And I just don't remember how I feel. I know I've tried it, but I just don't know. So maybe it's good that we don't have a blush because I feel like this product is definitely gonna clash. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's giving me like iridescent bug, you know? It's like, it's not really green, but kind of like a goldy green. It is weird, isn't it? Okay. It's a very weird color. Okay, I see why people didn't like it. It is, um, it's a very unique color that I think definitely wouldn't work on 
a lot of skin tones. It's very bizarre. But we're going to think about it. We're going to think about it. Okay, so we actually have a brow product. I don't even know if you can get this one anymore either. This might be really old, but this is from Benefit. This is the Cabrow, and it's like in this little packaging. I have mine in the color three, and it's so cute. And I don't know if this is my color or if I want to deal with the inconvenience of putting this brush in this tiny little packaging. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I love the cute things. I do. I'm like a sucker for the cute things. But that doesn't mean they always love me back. I definitely feel like, just like, you can't use the brush because it's so tiny. I'm not trying to make this look bad. Can I just say, I really am not. It just is what it is. Okay, brows are on. They are. I don't know if you can tell. We have one last product that I wanted to try out. And this is from YSL. This is their Tutage Couture Velvet Cream Lipstick in the color 204. Maybe. Did I say any of that right? Probably. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> and this one, I think I didn't love the color. I really think the color, I was just like, oh, that was a choice. Sometimes YSL goes off really fast. I've noticed that about their lipstick. So I always like to smell it. It's a weird formula. <laughs> I don't love how it feels on my lips and it definitely does have a very strong smell, not like a bad smell and definitely not like a perfume smell, but an artificial smell, if that makes sense. Kind of plasticky, but I actually don't hate the color. I thought I was going to hate the color. I don't love the color, but I don't hate it. Hmm. Okay. Let me think about that one, but this is the final look. What do we think? Ah, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm trying to get them all organized in my head while tasting this lipstick. So we ended up trying eight products that I just was not sure about. So let's go through them and decide, are we going to keep them or are we gonna declutter them? Okay, this was an interesting batch. This was definitely a mixed bag, okay? I, I like getting a mixed bag. It's so much better than being like, I love everything. Like I like revisiting my makeup and trying to figure it out. So let's start with the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliant Watery Glow Primer. My face still feels a little sticky. Like not when I touch it, but like just overall. And I think this was the problem that I had with it before. It kind of is one of those primers that you can feel on your face and I don't love it. So even though it was fine when I used a foundation on top of it, which is good, I just don't think I'm going to reach for this primer ever again. So why would I keep it, right? So we are going to declutter this one. Next up, we have the Milk Makeup. I've already forgotten the name of you. Sunshine Under Eye Tint and Brighten. Again, I don't even know if you can buy this one anymore. Um, the applicator is good in concept, like it's a metal roller ball. So you, you know, that would be very cooling on the face, but it's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. And the product itself is not great. Uh, for me, at least it feels and looks a bit cakey underneath the eyes. So this is going in the garbage. This is garbage. I think we're going to save the palette for last. So hang in on that one, but let's go ahead. Let's move over to the Guerlain Mascara. I like this. I thought this was actually a really good product. It's not as va va voom as my MAC stack, but I don't like to use the MAC stack every day anyways. Like I like to use it a lot of days, but sometimes you're not looking for something as bold and out there as the MAC stack. So this is a really good product. I think this is a good work mascara actually. So yeah, this is a keeper. The By Terry, Terry Blow, Terribly, 
he spelled it like Terry and then B-L-Y, and I don't know why that spelling throws me off, but it is. Terribly Dentalist Contouring in 100, there's like so many names back here. Whatever this is, we are decluttering it, okay? It, um, it just didn't work for me. I just didn't like the color of that bronzer, and I was actually surprised that you could get a brush in there and it worked better than I thought it would. That contouring brush was not the answer, but a fluffy brush did work, but I just, the color is not for me, and I don't know what that other powder is, and if it is a brightening powder, I don't think it's in my shade, so... Even though this is, it's a cool product because it's like the weight of it is intense. Like this guy's heavy, um, but we're going to declutter him because he did not work for me. The ABH highlighter in Iced Out, we've got this goldy greeny something and I'm not going to lie. I think this one I am the most confused at. It is a very odd color. It is not a color that I would wear often. But I don't hate it. <laughs> it's very unique, which I feel like in this day and age is, is hard to say. And it could be unique because it's not a great color and I don't think a lot of people would reach for a color like this, but it is not terrible. Maybe, I bet I'm gonna be editing this video, watching this and commenting to myself. It is terrible, Lauren. It is terrible. But it'll be interesting to see how it looks on video compared to how I'm seeing it in real life. I don't hate it. I don't. I think I'm not ready to give this one up. We're going to keep this one. Okay, we have the Cabral from Benefit. It's so adorable. I want to love this, but I hate the brush it comes with. It's not great. And I don't absolutely love this color. It's a kind of an odd ashy brown, which doesn't work great on me. You'd think it would because I do like cool tone things. Like taupe is my go-to brow color, but this one just, I don't know. It's a bit too ashy and a bit too brown. Does that make sense? I'm not being picky. I swear. <laughs> it's so cute. I want to keep it, but I don't think I'll be reaching for it. So we're going to declutter this guy too. The YSL tattoos. What was I trying to say it before? I think it's like tattoo, but tattoos combo of rouge and tattoo maybe uh whatever it is the tattoos contour velvet cream lipstick in the color 204 i don't like the color and i don't like the formula so this one is just not for me it's pretty it's not as bad as i thought it was but i'm not going to reach for it so why am i going to keep it and i just the formula is very odd it actually does feel kind of velvety on the lips it's interesting but I don't love it and I have so many great lipsticks so I don't need to keep this one we're going to be decluttering this one last but certainly not least we have the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette just a reminder this is what this guy looks like how do I feel now that I've reached for it again and I am in I feel like a pretty positive frame of mind for it being as early as it is how do I feel how do I feel? This was a very confusing episode of Use It or Lose It because I don't know how I feel. I actually like the look. I do. And I think the eyeshadows performed really, really well. And I actually saw quite a few looks online when I was browsing that I would wear in real life and I kind of want to create on my own face, which I don't necessarily need this palette to do, but I was impressed with the way the shadows performed. Now that shimmer the astro color right there is very pretty, but the fallout was pretty intense. I didn't realize at first when I was applying it, but it got it got pretty all over, like at least on one eye. This eye's okay. This eye, it is, it is in there. It's on my face to stay today. Um, I, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna play with it some more. I'm gonna do some shorts with it. I'm gonna see how I really feel about it. I honestly did think that I was gonna end up decluttering this guy today because I've been holding on to it for a while. And I just know that I did not know how I felt about it. And I have so many amazing palettes. So from Kaleidos too, amazing palettes. So I just wasn't sure about this one, but I really liked how it worked. You know, shout out to that gravity color 
wow, that went on really, really nice. And I feel like lime greens can sometimes be a little tricky to formulate. Sometimes they just aren't as pigmented on your face as they are in here, but that one was really pretty. So we're going to keep this one. Uh, I think I'm going to create a few looks, do a few shorts with this palette so I can continue to get some use out of it. And yeah, I have a declutter coming up. I try to do two massive declutters a year. Um, I haven't fully decided if I'm going to do another eyeshadow palette declutter um, in the middle of the year or just wait until the end of the year so I can really try everything out, but we will see. We're going to just keep it for now. So in total, we ended up keeping three things, even though two I'm a little confused about still and I need to continue to play with. And we are decluttering five items, which is actually pretty good. It's pretty good, I'm impressed. I will be listing some of these items on Mercari. I think probably these two and the primer will go up on Mercari in case anyone wants to buy them. But this brow guy is a mess. He's going in the garbage. The milk makeup is going in the garbage. It is garbage. It belongs there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Use It or Lose It. I always like doing these. I love revisiting some of my older makeup. I have a massive collection. So it's really good for me to bring out some of my older stuff and play with it. So I have to head off to work, my other job, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Comment below if you liked any of these products. I know there's gonna be a few people out there that are like, I love the Club Nebula. I wanna hear that, tell me, tell me. Tell me what your favorite colors in the palette are so I can play around with it a little bit more, cause I want to. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.